Hey, thank you for taking the time to click on today's video. So let's start with a question. Why would the rich who have plenty of money actually invest for income? Why would they want to invest for interest? Why would they want to invest for dividends? That was a question that was posed to me just the other day by a gentleman as a fiduciary. I was sitting down with him and he explains that he's worked really, really hard. He saved $10 million in retirement savings. He's successful. He's got all the income that he needs. Why in the world would I ever want to invest for interest and dividends? So let me ask you this question, the same question that I asked him. I said, so I want you to imagine for just a moment that you own $10 million worth of farm ground. Are you going to tell me that you're going to leave that farm ground completely fallow? You're just going to leave it unplanted? And just as he was about to answer, I said, no, 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 wait, wait a minute. Let's imagine you had $10 million worth of apartment complexes. Are you going to tell me that you're going to leave every one of those apartments empty? And finally, the guy can't handle it anymore. And he's like, well, no, that'd be stupid. I would plant the farm ground and I would, I, I would be seeking tenants to pay me rent. And I said, exactly. So why would you not want more income? Well, I don't want more income. Well, I understand that. Maybe that's from a tax standpoint. But you see, what's important to understand is that our money is not power. Our money is potential power. And you see, assets make things possible, but it's income that makes things happen. And when we have $10 million, or maybe you don't have 10 million, maybe you've got $5 million, but you feel like all of the income that you need is being satisfied. You've got your rental income, you've got your social security income, maybe you've got your pension income, and you really don't feel like you want more income. Well, consider this. The reason that the rich invest for income is because they want their money constantly making something more. I want you to think about this for just a moment. Just imagine, if you will, that all of your money is producing so much income, you've got more than you need, so much more that you need, that you end up having to create a family foundation. A family foundation that will carry on a legacy, not only to you and to your spouse, but to your children, to your grandchildren, and even maybe to your great-grandchildren. Think about having so much income being produced automatically every single year through interest and dividends off from what you've worked hard to save, that you have so much income, you give such a substantial gift to the local hospital that they end up taking and putting your name on that new wing. You see, this is why we invest for income. We want every single dollar to appreciate, but what if we could get that growth plus income? What if we could take every bit of growth that we get and we could add to that another 4%, another 5%, maybe even another 6%, and that income is something that we can use to better our lives, to better the lives of our family, to better the lives of our, of, of our friends, of our community, of our state. You see, this is why the rich invest for income. Interest and dividends are powerful things. And again, assets make things possible, but it's the income that makes things happen. So once he got it, once he realized that there's not a farmer in this world with $10 million of farm ground that would just let it sit there and be unplanted and grow weeds. There's not one landlord that's going to have $10 million worth of apartment complexes without getting people in those apartments to pay rent that he would have even more income. He realized he can now take his investing to the next level. And here's the good news. So can you. But you have to know how to do it. You have to know what to look for. You have to know what's available for you to invest in safely that's going to be able to give you the consistency every year of that, that 4%, that 5%, that 6%, and do it on a more contractual basis. So I hope that this was food for thought for you today to understand that you too can join those rich investors in leveraging your retirement savings. Regardless of what you have, you don't have to have $10 million to do it. You could have 200,000 and still do it, just on a smaller scale. If you like these little videos, I encourage you to give us a thumbs up, it's always helpful. But most of all, I encourage you to comment down below. I love reading the comments. I try to read as many of them as I possibly can. Questions, comments, it's all really cool to me to be able to read that commentary. And then if you like our videos, I encourage you, smash that bell, make certain to subscribe, and we'll make certain to send you a video and share this with your friends. Maybe they need a little bit of a kick in the pants to understand that they too can take their investing to the next level and start producing income for themselves to make even more things 
more good things happen for them every single year. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Matthew Johnson. And remember, it's up to you to make today a great day.